Firstly, I want to make it clear to you because some of you might not be aware of this. Just in case you're not aware, there's no such thing in Sikhi as dating. Some people are like, what? Serious? There's no such thing as dating. You can watch a video about it on our channel, more detail. Just to make it clear to you, we don't date. I know you might think, oh yeah, yeah, what's wrong with dating? Find out the person, see what they like. What happens? You get to know them. After some time, a year together, you've done all the things that you're not supposed to do because of lust, right? Then you go, I don't really like you. I don't really want to get married to you. And here I'm going to just break it down very simply, okay? Just very simply, okay? I want you all to just imagine, male or female, just imagine one thing. On your right hand side, okay, over here, is the ideal husband or wife, spouse, yeah? On this side, right? Now, on your left hand side is the ideal boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay, got it, yeah? Imagine it, you happy? How many people will say these two are the same? Just call you, because you're already married. You ain't got to worry about this question. They're not the same, are they? So, what are we doing looking for this? Why are we looking for the ideal boyfriend, girlfriend, when really we want this? Do you get it? Just think in your head. You want this, then look for this. Because what's going to happen is this, yeah? I'm saying the God's honest truth is going to happen. You end up going for this, fall in love, and regret missing out on that one. I can vouch for that as well. You end up going for the ideal boyfriend, fall in love, you don't want to break up with him. Your heart's gone because your heart's dangerous. Your heart does not listen to logic. It doesn't listen to anything. The heart is dangerous. Shh. Guys, listen carefully. The heart is dangerous and you will end up falling in love with the wrong person. And now you miss out on the ideal husband material or wife material. I know many people, girls and boys, got married to people that, you know, were cool, they had gadiyan, they had cars blazing, and they were really cool, yeah, got married, or got in a dating relationship, fell in love, and then later on go, now they got kids, two kids, blah, 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 yeah, and they're separated, because that guy hasn't left shrub, hasn't left cubbing, hasn't left all those things, because he's like, that's what she married me for. She's like, but I wanted you to be this guy. And he's like, but I'm this guy. I ain't gonna be this guy. Should have married that guy if you wanted that guy. You get me? So, why is there no dating? Because you look for husband or wife material. And when do you look for husband or wife material? When do you look for that ideal person? Because Guru Sahib is not saying you can't have lust in your life. Then there are four padharat, char padharat. The four things that you get all four. One was to be a good person. One was to have wealth. One was to have calm. To have normal married life and kids. Yeah? And last one was Mukti. You get to have the fourth, third one as well. No problem. But in a system, i.e. marriage. So when is the right time to look for the right partner? When you're ready to get married. And not beforehand. Not when you're 16, not when you're 18, not when you're in your university. When you're ready to get married, then look for the right partner. And then that right person should also be looking for the right partner. They're looking for marriage material. You're looking for marriage material. Then you can meet and you'll be on the right term. If she's looking for boyfriend and you're looking for marriage material, it won't work. If she's looking for a marriage material and you're looking for girlfriend material, it won't work. When you're both ready to get married and you're both of the right age, then you start looking and you will find it works. And then your heart will not get broken. Most times, it won't get broken. Because you've gone in there looking for marriage. And don't break your hearts. Guruji is telling you all, don't break your hearts. It's very hard to remake your heart. You go in there with that innocence and that love, don't just break it. It will hurt. Yeah? So look for 
the right person. And then you can invest your time in getting to know them and getting married to them. So the sick process is like this. You're off an ace to get married. The other person off an ace to get married. You then tell your parents or your friends, I'm now ready to get married. What happens is, through luck or through work, somebody will say, this is a good person for you to get married to. Your parents will find somebody. Or you see somebody, but you don't approach them yourself and say, yo, can I have your number? Yeah? What's going to happen then is, just because you could think, why not? Why not? You're ready. What's going to happen there is, you haven't had that conversation, are you ready to get married? Tell your parents if you like somebody, and ask your parents to approach their parents to see if they're ready to get married. If they're ready to get married, then have a conversation when your parents are both in agreement that you do match, because your parents know you really well, or your friends. They do match. Then when you start that conversation, it's cool. Because you can now, if it works, invest your heart and soul into it, and not get worried, not get hurt. If it doesn't work, you can say, fine. Everybody knows about it. No one's going to doubt you. No one's going to judge your character. Because you say, I tried. But everybody is aware that you were meeting them. If you don't go through that system, people are going to say, oh, she was chatting to this guy. She was chatting to that guy. And if you start texting each other beforehand, just to meet, meet, see, see if you get along, somewhere, someone might fall, but you might not have agreed, and your families don't match. Then you end up with heartbreak. And all that kind of stuff. Hanji Penji. Um, you said so you find the right person first and then you get to know them. But how are you supposed to know if they're the right person? I never said find the right person. To be ready to get married and then you get people to find you the right people for you. Or you see somebody who you think is not who's right, then you say to your parents, that person might be right for me. You check it out. Let them approach them. Let's see if that person is the right thinking as well because they might not be ready to get married yet. Do you get it? So you make sure that that family thing works. And if your parents and their family gel, and it's all cool, then when you meet, for the first time you start talking properly, not for the first time, you might have known them already, through your friend circle, but when you have that conversation about marriage, it will be already with the idea that I'm not here to mess you about. I'm not here to just flirt with you and cheat with you. My whole family is involved. You know if they're serious or not. The worst thing you want, and this is for the BBI spell, is a guy to come along and say, no, I'm serious about getting married. A year or two later, he goes, no, not serious. Not with you. And all this time, you're preparing the wedding dress and everything. Yeah? And you lose your faith in men as well. Yeah? And all that baggage, you know one more thing I'll say about dating, yeah? Dating is basically like going to suitcase shops and buying bags. Filling them up with stuff. When you finally get to the one, the marriage one, you come with a lot of baggage. And you think, most of us will think, the other person's job is to take care of my baggage. But they are not your valet. They're not here to pick up your baggage and put it and take care of it. you got to deal with your baggage and they've got to deal with their baggage. If you go in there thinking, this person is going to deal with all my baggage, uh-uh. Unlikely. So the more baggage you have, the more you bring to the party, the more pangi. So try and reduce the baggage you bring to that wedding. Coming with a whole bunch of broken hearts, coming with a whole bunch of, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that, my last boyfriend used to do this to me, oh, I don't like this. Baggage upon baggage upon baggage. And there will be 15 people in that relationship. Seven from his side, seven from your side. Oh no, so I have masters and work two, minus three, six from his side, or whatever. And then you've got the, these people in the marriage together. And you're stepping around toes, watching, I don't want to offend you because once somebody said this to you, or once somebody said that to you. Baggage upon baggage. Believe you, I've been there. I'm bringing all my baggage. So, this is why. So when they, when they said, how does it work with uni girls and girls and uni life? Get a good degree. When you're ready to get married, find a girl who's ready to get married. Who matches what you want to do in your life. Then, do the approach the honourable way. The open way through your parents and family. Not the little text or Facebook or message, all that stuff. That is not being honest with the girl. Aunt, be honest up front. I'm looking to get married. My family is going to approach your family. Is that cool? Then we're going to get to know each other afterwards. Not, 
you know, get to know each other and then find out, oh, it's not working. And then next get another. All that time, all that texting, all that emotional involvement, it's panga, man. It's panga. Then the hukum nama as well. Okay, hukum nama. Find out if Mara thinks it's a good match as well. Then you can approach. Otherwise, dil na, the dil is very like nazuk, it's says soft. It's very like what you might call fragile. Todona. Unusam ke rakho. Find somebody who's worthy of your heart, who's ready for your heart, and then approach them. And then they'll take care of it, because they're serious as well. Otherwise, your heart's going to get broken many times. I know. I've broken them, and mine's be broken as well. <laughs>